So, Dibbles, treat it all back to answer some more goddamn questions. First, before we get to the questions, god damn, I gotta get some fucking canoeness off my fucking chest. So, fucking, I'm driving up here today, right, just on the way to the goddamn warehouse, which is not a long fucking drive from my house. And I'm at a, come to a stoplight, and I'm parked behind a fucking biker. Fucking biker, dude, hell's angels, fucking tough guy. Fuck yeah, got the goddamn job. You know, one of those guys. And, you know, in the sense, you know, bikers are look like, looked at like, you know, they're supposed to be tough, supposed to be mm, fucking supposed to be, you know, biker gang and hell's angels and all that, right? Dude, this fucking canoe has got the fucking most homo as hell fucking tunes he's going on while, he, while the bike is that. I don't even know what the song's called or whatever, but I've, I've heard it. I'm always just like, oh my God, dude. That fucking song, we all want to be big rock stars where the girls aren't easy and the, uh, something's cheap and all this other fuck. We say, uh, I'll stay skinny as I just won't eat. That song, literally fucking garbage canoe ass fucking trash. First of all, who the fuck wants to stay skinny? Jacked and stacked is where it's at, brah, brah. Everybody fucking knows that. The only reason fucking guys don't get jacked and stacked is because they ain't got the fucking goddamn discipline to fucking do it. It's the only goddamn reason. But at the end of the day, everybody wants fucking muscle. Even the guys that say they don't. Yes, they fucking do. Nobody wants to be skinny and nobody wants to be fucking fat. Minimally, they want to be at least lean with fucking abs. Or big and strong. So don't give me that. Who the fuck wants to be skinny? Fucking, that's a that's bitch shit right there, brah, brah. So that, that's... <laughs> but dude, I've always known that song. I have no idea who sings it. Who is it fucking probably... I just, I'm sure it's somebody I've heard of. What is it, Red Hot Chili Peppers or something it's completely fucking stupid? But, dude, it's like, come on, man. Dude, I'm just sitting there, like, just sitting behind them, just looking at them. And, God damn, dude, the, the song fucking uh, Utter Disgust by Obscenity just pops in my head. Just feel utter disgust. And after that, man, I'm just like, man, this is just everything I despise in fucking humanity. Goddamn song by Cannibal Crushing the Despise just pops in my head. And after that, I'm just like, God damn, this just tells me everything of why I hate the majority of the fucking human race. Atomizer pops in my head. The only good human is a dead fucking human. God damn fucking straight when you see canoeness like that. What's the problem, Jay Dog? What do you care what people like? I don't care what people like. It's just, come on, dude. There's no way, there's no chance. To, no, you don't like that shit. You just flat out don't. You're just not a music fan, so he's putting on something to break the fucking silence. I mean, for fuck's sakes, dude, if you're if you're a biker, imagine, so when I think biker, tough guy, yeah, fuck yeah, man, gonna fuck him up. Dude, wh wh why do you never hear Scream Bloody Gorgon? How about Onward to Golgotha? Like, oh, man, that's some fucking toughness. Fuck yeah. Like, why do you never hear that? Ever. Fucking Ever. Or hell, even like, let's go fucking mainstream. Why don't you ever even hear fucking kill them all on? Or hell awaits. I'll put popular shit in there. How about some fucking early anthrax? Something with some fucking toughness, some sack. Actually make it look like you fucking look like a goddamn man. There was definitely a pink thong on under those black fucking pants. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. There is no reason in the fucking world somebody should be playing that fucking crap. No fucking reason whatsoever. I'll even give guys that fucking listen to like gangster hardcore rap and shit more credit than that. Why? Because at least it's not on the fucking radio and it's what it's jammed down everyone's throat. Hell, I heard it, so it's jammed. How did I hear it? Probably, I don't know, through my gym or a birthday party or a restaurant, probably at Panini's or some shit like that. That's where they play it. And it's just like, dude. That, when I hear people listening, it's one thing if it's on and you're in the grocery store, right? Well, I can't control what they put on, right? But when you're putting it on yourself, that 100% screams to me, robot, brain-dead, cheap fucking canoe. That's what it fucking tells me. You cannot think for yourself whatsoever. You just go by what the big mainstream topics are. What do they tell me to watch on TV? What do they tell me to fucking uh, listen to? What stupid ass silly fucking topics should we talk about? Let's talk about the bid. Let's talk about vaccines. Elections coming up. Who's going to be elected? All that stupid shit. That's what it tells me. Anybody that follows all this crap, 
brain dead fucking sheep canoe. I mean, come on, get a fucking interest already. I, I can't even believe it. And again, it's one thing if it's just if you saw some fucking Pee Wee Herman Pee Wee Herman fucking pushover fucking wimp. You're like, yeah. About what I'd expect fits the fucking bill. Well, the guy's supposed to be tough. I expect to hear something a little goddamn tough. I mean, dude, that's as non-hetero as it fucking gets. No reason there shouldn't have been some Megadeth or something on there, at the very least. And I'm being oh so fucking just Hell, I'd even give him some pain terror. At least he'd just be in an out-of-the-loop fucking canoe. I was like, this is the best you got, brah, brah. A fucking Pantera sends that fucking bullshit home on a fucking stretcher. Shit, fucking Madonna, Britney Spears, and Cindy Lauper sends that bullshit home on a fucking stretcher. Most canoe shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. No reason a guy that's supposed to represent toughness playing that canoe shit. Anyways, just had to get off my chest. God damn. Came in here and threw up my breakfast. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. Couldn't believe what I was hearing. God damn. No wonder I, don't, I hate, can't stand being in this world. The fucking people that fill it. Unbelievable. Anyways, we got five goddamn order questions here. First one's from Dylan Webb. Order question. J-Dog, how do you feel about embalmed boiling humans? I think it's okay. Didn't blow my socks off. Shoes were still laced too. But, you know, good background death model listen. No lyrics anywhere. Kind of a bummer. Mortician sound? Mortician sound? I don't recall them sounding like mortician, but I, to be honest with you, I didn't spin it to my ears bleed either. I, I listened to them twice, I think, all the time. It's like when it got reissued. I know I listened to it like when the CD came out. And then I think an LP got pressed. And I was like, you know, it's been, I heard this five years ago. I really put it back on. I'm like, meh, it's okay. What makes it so addicting? I wasn't addicted, so I don't know. You tell me. I feel like the bass is going through a bit crusher or something. Saw Mortal Massacre tape on eBay for 100 bucks. How you feel about that? Uh, it's great for the guy that's selling it. Dylan P.S. I'll take any stickers you have less. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, yeah, it's great for the guy that's selling it. To be honest, I kind of like it because... Uh, that's what makes this stuff cool. It's collectible. You know what I mean? Like, if you own something you bought it 20 years ago and you see it on eBay, it's like it's going for eight bucks. It's kind of like, oh, that's lame. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not that I plan on reselling my stuff, but it's, as you can see, it has fucking value. It has fucking coolness. So uh, I like seeing shit like that. Now, when I'm on the other side, on the other side, and I gotta pay it, I mean, I want to say I'm pissed, but it's kind of like, oh shit. I mean, but I do. Hey, I, I, I take it for the team too. Goddamn, like I said, the Destroyer Six Six Six, Six Songs for the Devil. I paid. This was what two months ago or something about it. it. Paid 260 bucks, I think it was. That's right, 260, 260, not 26 dollars, 260 USD. God damn it. So, um, yeah, is what it is. Uh, next one, Timothy Malnar. Question, J Dog. I watch your channel daily. It's the way I like to hear it, bra bra. As I wake up between six and seven a.m. Yep, yep, yep. That's what a fucking a responsible adult wakes up. A grown man, not teenage little kiddos. But don't recall. Hearing which deceased album is your favorite. The King Folly interview was killer, brah, brah. Be sure to check out those interview, other interviews, too. The King Folly, that was as raw as it gets. First interview I goddamn did. No microphones, no nothing, which the sound came out pretty decent on that one. Obviously, the sound came out shit with fucking uh, Matt and Ross. Uh, it, well, the sound wasn't too bad. It's just there was a bunch of fucking canoes in the background uh, talking. So it would have been okay if uh, it wasn't that. So there was parts that get kind of fucking muddied out. But, hey, it's what the fuck I had, right? Um, yeah, I've answered that as far as favorite deceased. So watch every morning, but <laughs> must have missed some of the back catalogs. I mentioned several times. Uh, it's a toss up between supernatural addiction and luck of the corpse. It's about even, but since everybody's going to say luck of the corpse for the most part, I'm going to go with supernatural, just change it up. And, but it really is a coin toss. You know what I mean? Let me, let me be honest with you. Uh, Chip Lionel, question for J-Dog. Who are some favorite LA bands of yours? I mean, some of the some of the ones that are ob completely obvious, like Possessed. Thoughts on Gravehill, Entity, and Coffin Tex. Gravehill, thought was okay. Not that I bought my own Entity. Wasn't that that pre-Infamy band? Um, the demos and shit, it was cool, brutal death metal stuff. You know what I mean? Kind of got just over my head past me. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was cool. I heard it much, much later when it got reissued. Um, but if it's, I'm pretty sure one of the couple of guys went on to do Infamy, the album, uh, The Blood Shall Flow, that, that album's uh, fucking great. It's the opening track, Maggots Are Inside Me. I, I, so I preferred the Infamy stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, Coffin Text, they was good, too. They did 
two albums, if I'm not mistaken, and I remember them both being good, but the main one I know is the first one. Uh, Drawn a Blank is what it's called. But they're doing the whole Egyptian theme, like Nile. It didn't sound anything like Nile. It was closer to Sadistic Intent or something like that. Not that I'm saying they sound directly like Sadistic Intent, but more, more in that style as opposed to like Nile. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I do like Coffee Text, especially that, uh, especially that first record. The second one, I don't know if I've ever picked it up. If there is a second one, or maybe I'm mistaken it for this first one coming out LP, and the cover's a little different. I can picture them both in my mind. The CD I have, I bought it when it was new back then, when in the early 2000s. It's got the uh, more like um, yellowish, orangish cover, and then that guy came out an LP years years ago, and I believe it's like a gray cover. But I own both, uh, so maybe it's just maybe it's, they just did it wrong. I want to say they did a second one. But I don't think I ever officially picked it up. But I like that. Um, what's yeah? What's the uh, coffin text? I'm trying to think of the goddamn name. I remember when I heard it. But uh, you know, I got to respin it too. I mean, I've heard it many times. Didn't they? they didn't they cover disturbing the priest on there too? I think they did. Uh, but I, I probably haven't listened to that in about three, four years now. It's been a while. But every time I listen to it, it's very enjoyable. And uh, I remember and I can picture how it introducts into that. Yeah, so it's uh, it's it's a good, it's definitely a really good disc. So for you guys that don't know it, coffin text. Uh, Whatever the first one is on Metal Archives, if they have a set, if they even have another one, check it out. It's fucking great. J Dog approved. That's for goddamn sure. Um, oh, as far as favorite LA bands, I mean, right off the top of my goddamn head, I mean, uh, like as far as yeah, favorites, I mean, it'd be hard to deny uh, Possessed and Early Slayer, uh, Sadistic Intent. Um, Faves. I mean, am I forgetting somebody from LA? I mean, that probably my favorite stuff. That probably that. I mean, don't get me wrong. And then there's obviously later stuff. Like I said, the Infamy and I don't know, is that LA? I know it's California. Deeds of Flesh is that LA? I know it's California. I mean, Exhumed and Paled is that? Aren't they from Oakland? Well, how far is that from LA? I don't even know. Um, you know, what I'm saying California is a pretty big state. So are you throw in just California or just strictly from LA too. And again, the suburbs, because is Oakland a suburb of L.A., or is it fucking 400 miles away? I don't know. What do you, what do you mean you don't know? I don't fucking live in the state. I've been there once, so no, I don't fucking know. I never looked it up, because you know, I never had any goddamn reason to. I've never been in Oakland. Probably never will be. So I, I heard it's a shithole. That's what I've been told. If it's not, I live there. We talk about data. I'm not my town. That's what I fucking heard. That's what I've been told. Well, if I heard wrong, then I heard fucking wrong. Well, that's what I know about it. So, anyways, uh, also, have you heard... Of the Loveland Frogman, what the fuck is that, man? Sounds dumb as hell. No, I have not. Apparently, there's been tales of frog creatures in Loveland. Ooh, what the fuck is Loveland? What is this goddamn Candyland fucking board game? Ohio, whose sightings have occurred since 1955. Well, we're talking about the fucking canoeiest fucking stay on Earth, so that's not too shocking. Lastly, are you a fan of sulfuric cut cautery? Never heard of them. Keep the canoe totem pole fresh with poser flush. <laughs> So, yeah, some of your questions are kind of like, don't even know what you're talking about, other than the first two. So, Case Calhoun. K I don't think Casey? C-A-S-E. So, what, Case or K K Casey? I don't know if that's short for Casey, but Case Calhoun. Question for j Dog. Any chance you'll be getting any Angel Corp shirts back in stock in 2XL? Uh, probably not, so we never had them in 2XL, because how do I know? Because I was fucking pissed, because I didn't get one for myself. Um, we got those from Osmos, and... Uh, no, uh, there was there, well, a real man size wasn't in there. There was just sizes only for that fucking uh, biker that was had the goddamn uh, pink thong on underneath. Grant, there's no way that fucking canoe like the fucking almighty goddamn angel corpse. Dude, I would blow that, put those pussy eardrums right out of his fucking skull. How about some more sadistic intent merch? Yeah, we'll get it as it comes out. Can't say those guys are the biggest go getters as far as putting merch out. Um, at least based on what I fucking see. So they put it out or it comes out or um, when it comes out, you know, obviously Iron Pegasus did the reissue LP and CD and we restocked that many times. So it's not up to us. It's like, uh, it's when it comes out, we restock it. But uh, they're known for not doing, well, they're just guys kind of what they're known for. They don't even have a full length yet, which is kind of like, I guess, kind of their shtick at this point, which I got to admit, I, would, would I even want them to put a full length at this point? I wouldn't be against it, but it's kind of cool to say, hey, I mean, how many bands could you say have been around going on 40 years that have no full lengths? 
I don't know if there's anybody else. And that's some bullshit fucking man. We did one demo and broke up. Yo, we're still around. Like, fuck you are. Um, like, for example, Necrovore or something. Let's see. You broke up a year after you fucking formed. So don't give me that crap. That don't count. I'm talking about around active. They were putting out, you know, EPs and shit. So it's kind of a cool thing, I guess, to say to your... You're the only one in that club. I'm sure there's some bullshit ass fucking cavalt black metal band too. It's like, well, we got <laughs> we do our rehearsal demo tapes and only 20 copies at this because bald is gay. Great, your mom and everybody with your phone number has it. It kind of doesn't count either, dude. It basically doesn't exist. Underground's cool, but at the same time, it's got to be somewhat spread around. Uh, the impending doom shirt I bought 20 years ago needs replacing. I bet it does. Yeah, I haven't seen an impending doom shirt in person in ages. Wouldn't mind one myself. On another note, do you need it? Do you need to use a CPAP? At five foot six, two hundred forty-five pounds of powerlifting glory, I have trouble sleeping for any period of time without waking up. Feel like I'm choking. Yeah, if you have, if you if you if you notice that yourself, you definitely need a CPAP. And it looks like a CPAP is the answer. It sure is. Just wondering if you ever had problems from your neck being too thick. I don't know. I don't think my neck's actually pretty big. I don't think the thing is is I'm actually not a big guy at all. Um. I guess by normal people are standards, but when I think big, I mean, I'm thinking fucking Nick Walker. That's fucking big. So, I mean, yeah, compared to the average bear who's not fat, you know, the average guy at five foot fucking uh, nine is my my height is, you know, is like 160 pounds, I suppose, 165. Again, a guy that's not fat, I'm 195, then you're probably fat. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm heavy in that sense. A bit overweight if you want to compare it to that, but... I don't know. The thing is, is the whole, what you described with the choking thing, I definitely have had it, but I haven't caught it in years. And uh, Lindsay hasn't said anything. She hasn't brought it up. So I'm assuming I don't do it. Uh, but because I remember when we first started dating and shit. So this was 10 years ago. Um, There was times I'd wake her up because I would sit right up because I'd stop breathing. But I haven't had that in fuck. It probably st- I have I, it's probably stopped about a year after. Now, do I stop breathing and I don't notice it? The thing is, it's you know I'll be completely honest with you. It's been in the back of my mind pretty much on a daily basis, <laughs> or damn close to it, that I might need a CPAP for the fact that I might not be getting quality sleep um, because I'm always fucking tired, always tired, twenty four fucking seven. From the minute I wake up, the minute I go to bed, I'm always tired. And people can say, oh, maybe you're just overtrained because you work out. I thought that too. But during COVID, it was the same thing. And uh, there was a lockdown. I didn't do owls. I did, I did cardio pretty much every single week. But I mean, 30 minutes, who the fuck? I mean, 30 minutes of cardio is tuckering you out. Then you're fucking, you're as weak as pathetic looking, weak as pathetic physically as looking as that, that fucking, uh, want to be a big rock star fucking listener. You shouldn't be tuckered out after 30 minutes of fucking cardio. You just flat out shouldn't be. Um, So it was not that. Like I said, two months I had the same goddamn tired problem during the fucking winter time during the shutdown when the gyms were closed down. Uh, now I did have a, uh, it was around that time during the winter too when shit started opening up. A sleep study where they sent it to your house. I couldn't get the goddamn thing to work. Um, so what I need to do, and it's one of those things I need to do it, is uh, do a, a sleep study. But I want to do the, uh, I want to. I want them to do the work because I, I. What the fuck? I don't want this equipment. I don't. I want to make sure it's right. Now the thing is, is though what turns out, because I admit it. Like for example, like, um, J Dog does his uh, coaching services. You can hire for hundred bucks a month. Fucking any questions you want. Fucking write up a goddamn program. Fucking sources. Fucking write up your training, nutrition, everything. A to Z, goddamn it. But what I tell people and a couple guys that come along before they hire me, I'm like, keep in mind, dude. I give you the blueprint of what you need to do. But you need to actually do it. You can have the best plan in the world if you don't execute it. Because you have every excuse. Oh, well, I, 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 I missed this meal. Or I wasn't willing to eat this. Or I couldn't afford that. Or I did. Then, 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 then you're wasting your time. The, the best plan in the world is not going to work unless you're going to actually do it. Having said that, if I find out I need a CPAP and I'm like, dude, I'm not wearing this fucking thing because I can't fall asleep, which I have a feeling that that's going to be me. Which, at the end of the day, is kind of... I, again, I can admit it, stupid on my behalf. Um, I just don't feel I want to be able to sleep with the goddamn thing. Because uh, I like to sleep on my side. And it's going to fall. Well, you get used to it. And you probably do. But uh, 
it's that thing that where I would have to get over the first couple of weeks of disciplining myself to do it. So it's kind of like I've been kind of delaying it for the reasons of am I going to actually consistently do it? Because, again, even if I know, it's like, yeah, you need one. And it's like you're not going to use it. Well, <laughs> the knowledge did nothing. You know what I mean? Um, but I have a pretty good chance that I probably do need one. But I'm also been kind of justifying to myself. <laughs> Not going is that uh hey, I haven't woke up fucking choking and shit. It's like, but from what I might from my knowledge on sleep and shit like that, which I know the basics, you know, like the, the REM sleep and you know, the deeper sleep, things like that, from what I understand is just because I'm not waking up choking or doesn't mean that I'm getting deep quality sleep, hence probably why I'm fucking tired all night. So because I've known there's a lot of fucking bodybuilders that that, that they use it. And they said it was life changing. They feel like a million bucks in comparison, like like immediately, like the very next day. Um, so that's encouraging. But what I've also noticed a trend with them too, all the ones they're all the they're the big guys. Again, that's why I think it's funny. What people say, you're big. I'm like, dude, you get out of your fucking house, man. You haven't seen big then, man. Have you ever met the go dude? Meet Roly Winkler in a fucking person. Meet Jay Cutler when he was not anymore, he's retired. When he was uh, competing, fucking Marcus Rule when he was competing, big Rammy. I, I know I've met these fucking guys. That's big. I go, I'm like, dude, I'm fucking tiny. Like, you, when I'm standing next to him, I literally don't even look like I work out. Nick, walk, you look up Nick Walker. Look at what that motherfucker looks like. That's big. Look up this new fucking upcoming guy who I'm a big fan of, fucking uh, Michael Krizzo. That's big. K Dog? I'm not fucking big. So, but what I—that's why I've noticed the trend. The guys that, that use them and notice that they're all—they're all fucking three hundred pounds plus. The big dudes, you know what I mean, the actual real big dudes, not the low two hundreds. You know what I mean? The heaviest I ever get up to on a ball is 240, 245. Well, That's not big. It's big if you're fucking shredded at two forty, two forty five. You're not shredded if you're just kind of fluffy and barely have abs at that age. That's not fucking big. Shred, shred all that shit off. You're down to two hundred pounds, probably. You know, normal, normal size bear. So I see you, goddamn it. Last goddamn question. Antonio Gappa. What's up, J Dog? Got a question for your channel, goddamn it. Which band has had the biggest influence on you? Cannibal, Deicide, or the Tish? I think I know the answer, but still let's hear it. Keep smashing canoes. You know, that's really tough. And uh, I might give the lame cop out answer. They're all equal. Because I heard them, like, for example, Cannibal was the first I heard. So obviously they had the biggest influence right out the gate changed everything however i remember seeing uh hearing for the first time mortician the first thing was hacked up for barbecue and that was a game changer it was like oh fuck dude we thought cannibal and morbid angel and deicide were heavy oh they don't get any heavier than the tish literally what we said literally what we thought um and that was the measuring stick it was the tish so and this was like a year or so after hearing cannibal and then Deicide, more so for personal and my personal beliefs and shit like that, it aligned to what I thought. Because growing up and, you know, my parents Catholic and we were forced to go to fucking the, that's the Saturday PSR fucking garbage and shit like that. I remember being as early as eight, nine years old questioning in my head and asking questions. And like my mom and stuff would only have answers like, well, you know, that's what God wants you to do. And it's, you're on this earth because it's a test. And then I ask stuff like, yeah, but you said he knows everything, even the future. Like, can he predict the future? He knows what you're going to do in the future. Oh, yeah. Then what's what's he testing if he already knows the answer? And they never have an answer. And I'm just thinking, so you're telling me he knows everything, basically knows it ahead of time, but what you're going to do, what he's testing you, putting you on it. And so in my mind, I'm all this man thinking, so this is a piece of shit that's just watching like, <laughs> I'm going to watch him fall and fail because he already knows you're going to. Or whatever the hell it is you're going to do, right? He already knows. I was like, I'm just thinking, this is a sadistic fucking piece of shit. Even if he does exist, let's just say he does exist. He comes down from the sky. I'm still giving him the finger. Fuck you. Why would I worship you, dude? You're worse than Hitler. That's the way I see it. Because what does he say? Worship me or burn for all eternity. Why would you support that? That is literally worse than Hitler. Hitler existed. It's not like a, it, so that's the whole thing is with Christ and all that other shit when I battle. It's like, not arguing if he exists or not. I think mean, he's a fucking pretty far fetched if you believe that Bible. That's for goddamn sure. But I'll even just give you the benefit out. Okay, it exists. Cool. So that way, for the sake of argument, I don't support that ideology. That sadistic fucking garbage. Worship me or burn for all eternity. You support that? 
I don't. You may as well. People that support that, I'm going to start saying that. You're a Christian. You support Christ. Worse than supporting Hitler. Hey, I fucking see it. He's burning people for all fucking eternity just because they didn't believe in him. And there's idiots out there falling for that shit, supporting that shit. Fuck him and the horse he rode in on. So, having said that, when they heard the old goddamn Via side, especially shit like Serps of Light, basically what I'm thinking, oh, fuck yeah, between you have the jam and fucking tunes, and then you start to read the lyrics. That really got me developing, yeah, this is what I think. It's just Glenn put it in words and made it funny and entertaining. You know, like he says, God is the reason Satan lives on. Damn fucking straight it is. Get rid of the fucking devil, dude. The church goes out of business. Nobody is following that bullshit. Because I love my Lord and Savior. I just love Jesus so much. A piece of shit that fucking burns people that you never even fucking met. And you can't even prove exist. Like, fuck you love him, dude. You're only supporting his fucking selfish ass because you're afraid to go burn. You're afraid to go to the horned one. That's the piece of shit you fucking, uh, fucking uh, support. And like Emulation says, I want to be the first one in hell. Consequences of the sins you don't do. Put the consequences of the sins in the morning later, goddammit.